Okay, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to be tying a little black soft hackle that I've tied on the channel in the past, but I used a different body material that did not hold up very well. Part of a surgical glove that I used, wrapped it up, and unfortunately for some reason this uh, material does not hold up very well. I've used surgical glove material in the past, and after uh, a little exposure to the sunlight or whatever, it uh, just fell apart on me. So I have to apologize for that. And maybe this is the newest material I'm making the gloves out of, but they are just very brittle. So we're not going to do that again. What I have in the vise is a clink hammer, size 14 from Saber. I like the profile of this hook for soft tackles. That's why I use it. And the thread I'm going to use is Danville 140 denier. Let's go ahead and start with a little thread behind the eye. Wrap it back. Go ahead and cut away the tag end. Wrap that thread back to about the mid point of that bend, bring it back forward a couple times. The uh, soft tackle material we're going to use is from Sideline Hill Hackle. It's a streamer hackle. Got these extra long ones in there for streamers, but they also have some nice feathers on the bottom for soft tackle. Let's grab one here. Here you go, perfect. Don't need to fluff, pinch that away. Now we're going to take the bottom barb rules, go ahead and stroke them out, pinch them up, pull them off, lay the barbels right against the side of the hook. Closest to you, give it a couple wraps. It'll end up right on top. Wrap it down a little bit, a couple times, to where you left that thread at. Let's make that a little longer. Pull it down just a little bit. One more wrap off of there. Here we go. Alright, wrap it in, secure it. How does that look? Looks pretty good. Let me give it one more wrap down toward the base of it here. There you go. Looks really good. Okay, so now we're going to add the new body material that I've been using is metallic floss polyester. It is not cotton. Do not buy the cotton. Cotton's going to deteriorate on you. Cotton is not good for fly tying at all. Take your utility scissors. Don't take your good fly tying scissors. Cut it away because it is metallic. And it has, uh, I think, six strands. You only need two. So take two of the strands, pull them off. Now you want to go ahead and just lay it right next to the shank of the hook. Give it a wrap. And wrap it down back toward that base of that tail. Bring your thread back up forward. A few eye, a few eye lengths behind the eye there. Go ahead and park it. I'm going to take a bit of super glue, dab the thread, this way it doesn't, uh, just gives it a little extra uh, added security. <clears throat> I like to turn my fly sideways or upside down and you start wrapping it back up toward the front. 
touching turns or as close as you can get all the way up now you want to go a couple turns back keep that uh, two strands together I'm going to build just a little bit of a taper in here the reason I use this floss mainly the just the, the sparkle of it gives it a little extra I guess the attractive factor all right now that you wrapped it back up let's go ahead and tie it off a few ties take your same utility scissors snip it out set that aside because that's enough for another one a couple of wraps now you want to take a little bit of this uh, Solares. This is a UV cure. This is the thin. I just want to put just enough on here. To coat it. I don't want to make a big, uh, big fat body. Just enough to coat that floss. You gotta take your bobkin and spread it down around a little bit. Now we're gonna take our light, ultraviolet light, cure it. I've had this light forever. Probably can get a little stronger one. This. I bought this at uh, Batteries Plus years ago. It's been with me for a while. Seems to do the job. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's already, already tack free. Okay. Let's give it a couple wraps back toward... Oh, I'll spin that thread up. That thread comes apart. It's one thing about this uh, Danville thread at... Uh, Likes to come apart on you a little bit. All right, now we're gonna add a little ball of ice stub. Ice stub I'm using is a, from a Steelhead dispenser from Hairline. I'm gonna use black, just a small little pinch. It might be too much. I'll take a little bit out away from there. Here we go. Lay it next to the thread. And spin her on nice and tight. Go ahead and wrap it a couple of times. I might have too much on there. Let's see how that comes out. I'm going to make a nice little ball. Wrap it up in front of it. Now you're going to take your hackle feather. That what I do with it. Here it is. Strip off a little bit off the bottom there. You want to tie it in with the shiny side, this side right here, facing toward me, myself, not you. Strip a little more off of there. And you want to go ahead and take the stem, Just tighten up that thread a little bit. Tie it in a couple times. If you want, you can take that stem back. Give it a little extra secure there. Cut that little, see that little stem sticking out there? I'm going to cut that away. And now you're going to wrap it. Grabbing your hackle pliers, whatever I did with them. Attaching them to the top of the hackle. And make sure when you wrap it back that the dull side is facing toward the rear. That way everything sweeps backwards. One more wrap. See that enough? Yeah, that's quite enough. Take your thread. 
under it, securing it. One more. Take your, this is a seam ripper. I like to use this a lot. Gets in there. Cuts it right away without cutting all the other barbules. Now you want to go ahead, sweep everything back. Tie backwards just a little bit, a couple wraps. Let's give that uh, thread a good spin here. Tie backwards on top of the hackle, that way you're sweeping everything back. You don't want a very large head, just enough to make it noticeable. Everything swept back. Take your book finish tool. Gotta clean my desk. <laughs> it got daggled in some other materials there. And give it a wrap. When you wrap, make sure that you're up against that hackle. Nice and tight. Cut it away. You can take that same seam ripper tool. Poke it in there. Cut that thread away. There you go. That's pretty fly, huh? Nice tail. Everything's secure. Now you can take a little dab of super glue or whatever you want. Got some solid Hansons. I haven't used that in a while. It's up there. Just a little dab. There you go. I didn't get any in the eye of the hook, but if you do ever get anything in the eye of the hook, you can just... Best to clean it out now. Take a feather, old uh, fellow fly tire, Bob Matuzic, a while back asked me why I don't use a little feather to clean out my eye on my hook. I was using stuff like uh, leftover uh, copper wire and stuff like this here that, you know, anyway. But it's always a good way to do it. Take a little scrap piece of other. So there you go. You get yourself a nice little black, shiny, soft tackle. Good little tractor bug. Yeah, so you can drift it in the current. And get yourself a nice big fish. All right, appreciate uh, all the views. Uh, getting close to 1,000 subscribers. Appreciate you all. And uh, stay tuned for more. Hopefully I got uh, do have a couple I want to show you here. In the near future that I've been working on some uh, some dry flies but uh, here you go cheers stay tuned for more and uh, stay safe out there